Hi, and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that we linked with a January transfer move to Arsenal, and a few transfer rumours around today. Uh, first of all, players that are on the way out, by the looks of it. Matthew Debucci, is he going to be finally leaving Arsenal Football Club? Um, he's actually been playing pretty decently uh, when he's come in this season. I mean, there's been a lot of people saying that really, listen, he's been pushing for a start in the team and may figure um, in the FA Cup game against Nottingham Forest. If he doesn't figure, I think it would be a telltale sign that he will be leaving. But he's been linked today heavily with a move to West Bromwich Albion. Um, of course, that's where Karen Gibbs is currently plying his trade. And um, Le Keep over there in France saying that they feel that he will be on his way out finally um, this transfer window, but we'll have to wait and see what happens with that one. Thomas Lamar is also mentioned again today by Le Keep. Now, Le Keep are saying that Arsenal have definitely identified Lamar as the player that they want to bring in if Alexis Sanchez leaves. And there's still lots of rumours flying around regarding Alexis Sanchez. But Le Keep saying that they 100% want to get Lamar. There's also other reports, though, saying that Monaco are saying that they're not going to let Lamar leave in January. Uh, Liverpool are now apparently really interested in Lamar. It looks like Liverpool might lose uh, Philip Coutinho to Barcelona and they've identified Lamar as a replacement. And it'd be interesting to see where Lamar would choose to go. I think Manchester United, Chelsea, they're also interested. Now, he's going to have a choice of a lot of clubs. That's going to be great for Monaco because that means the price is going to be bumped up. Where would Lamar choose to go? If he had a choice between Liverpool and Arsenal, where would he choose to go? You know, looking at Liverpool's team at the moment with Van Dijk coming in and the way they're playing exciting football, it'd be really interesting to see what happens. Um, Jack Wilshere apparently is going to be offered a brand new contract by Arsenal. He, of course, he deserves to be offered one. He should be made captain as well, as we 90% of you guys said uh, the other day on the show. But he's set to be offered a new contract by Arsenal, according to reports, worth over £100,000 a week but with loads of incentives uh, written into it regarding injuries um, and bonuses on performance, etc. So hopefully Jack Wilshere, that deal will get done before the end of the January transfer window and he will be locked down. Hopefully Mesut Ozil as well. Um, Theo Walcott, on the other hand, still looks like a player could be on the way out. Um, there's, of course, the strong links with Southampton. Um, there's also a lot of links today um, with AC Milan. Um, now, Walcott is said to uh, favour a move abroad. Uh, that'd be really interesting. Um, but Walcott being linked with a move um, away still. Will he play on Sunday against Nottingham Forest? Again, it would be a telltale sign. If either him or Dubucci don't play, that they're, that means they're probably due to move to somewhere. But, um, of course, as I said yesterday... Arsene Wenger saying that he would really like to see Theo Walcott staying at Arsenal. That's what he said uh, yesterday. Arsenal today linked uh, with an Argentinian player. Goes by the name of Christian Pavon. He's 20 years of age. He's a uh, forward. Plays for Boca Juniors. Has had a really good start to the season for Boca. And uh, there's lots of clubs looking at him. Arsenal with their new scouting network are really, really interested in this guy. Um, I can't remember us having an Argentinian player for God knows how long. I mean, that'd, that'd be great to have an Argentinian in. This guy's just burst into the uh, Argentinian team as well. And he's seen as a hot, hot prospect. Now, Boca Juniors, aware apparently of Arsenal's interests, but don't really want to sell him in January. They'd be more up for selling him in the summer. They want to make an attack on the Copa Liber Libertadores this year. And, uh, you know, they see this guy as an important part of that team um, to make an assault on that. But Arsenal apparently interested and the possibility that he could come in um, in January. Some of the uh, outlets saying that he would be a replacement for Alexis, a 20-year-old, a replacement for an experienced world-class player. I don't see that. But um, we'll have to wait again and see what happens with that one. Um, thanks for watching the show today. Uh, just to tell you about something that's coming up, we're going to be doing a big celebration, um, celebrating five years of Arsenal Fan TV um, it's going to be held at uh, YouTube at their headquarters in London and I'm going to be making some special announcements regarding that major event. Um, it's going to be huge and I'm going to give you some information on it um, over the next few days 
and also give you a chance uh, because you know we want to get subscribe. Obviously, it's a limited space. We want to get as many subscribers there as we possibly can. Unfortunately, it's only going to be a small percentage because we've we've only got um, a capacity in the place of a couple hundred. But um, if you're interested in coming along to that, just stay tuned here. But it's going to be a major event celebrating five years of Arsenal Fan TV. They said it couldn't work and we disrupted the industry. Arsenal Fan TV will be back tomorrow. Subscribe to Arsenal Fan TV.